What you're looking at is one of the colossi of Memnon. And one of the most amazing features of this is the fact that that entire seated figure is one piece of stone. The stone is quartzite and it weighs 700 tons and came from the uh, quarry for this is in Cairo which is at least 200 kilometers away. So the conventional story is that <clears throat> these were made during the 18th dynasty of the pharaonic uh, period of Egypt and that means that these were supposedly sculpted about 1500 BC but the dynastic Egyptians didn't have steel of any form or at least volume or quantity until about 800 BC. Quartzite is a super hard stone. Quartzite as in it contains quartz. Quartz is 7 in hardness out of 10 on the Mohs scale with diamond being the hardest thing we know which is 10. So if they didn't have at least steel how could they possibly have shaped these things? And the other thing again is that the seated figure weighs 700 tons. So the original block, if it was carved here in position, probably weighed a thousand tons. And how could they have moved it at least a minimum of 200 kilometers from the quarry, which is in the Cairo area? Uh -huh. So, what, whatever happens, come from that part. Yeah. So, a quick uh, correction. I was just told by our guide, Mohammed Ibrahim, that in fact, the quarry is called the Red Mountain in Cairo, or the Cairo area, 700 kilometers away, which is more than 400 miles. How were these things moved? On tree trunks? So what are you thinking, Susan? Well, that is kind of, I mean, odd. I mean, that is how they exfoliate, but this is kind of odd in that it's coming off in such a thin layer. Uh-huh. like it's a little skim around the outside of it. Can you hold your hand with me? Okay. Well here too if you look at look at this these ones. Potentially. Yeah and look at the crystalline structure here. So what you were looking at is one of the largest sculptures ever made in the history of the world. The base itself weighed 400 tons and either the combination of the sculpture and the base weighed a thousand tons or maybe the sculpture weighed a thousand tons. Now the quarry is likely at least 200 kilometers away so how did they move it?